Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 5. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, definitely go ahead and check out the link down below in the description. It will send you to the playlist. By the way, how is everyone enjoying this series so far? Personally, me, I've been having a blast enjoying 1.13, but there's one thing I've noticed in the past few episodes. I haven't been putting too much effort into my builds, and personally, I want to up my game because yes, in the last episode, we worked on the market, and personally, I think it turned out really awesome. I actually did a lot of work off screen and put in some major effort into remodeling one of the village homes. Now it's not completely done because today we're actually going to go ahead and try to attempt at completing it, but also working on some other things around this area. If you don't remember, this is the farming village. We need a name for it. So in the comment sections, let me know what we should name this village. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start in today's episode. I am using a derp skin and I don't have face cam today. I apologize about that. We'll get face cam back up in the next few episodes episodes but let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes i'm um, also if you haven't noticed i am using a slightly different texture pack this is actually jane c's texture pack if you like it let me know in the comment sections personally he's a really great content creator does the survival let's play and uh, he's been using this texture pack that he created that personally i think is fantastic it adds it keeps a default but it also adds a little bit more design to it which is something i always like so I'm going to show you in just a second. You may have just seen it just a bit now, but I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I think it looks really good, and it's going to be the theme of this place. So I'm about to turn around, and boom, there it is. This right here is one of the previous village homes that looked something like this that has now had a major overhaul. It took me a lot of time thinking out how do I want to design this village and I said look it's a farming village. I think a simple rustic look like this would be fantastic so let me know in the comment sections what everyone thinks about this. I personally think it looks awesome and we still have some work to do for sure on it so yeah this is going to be a lot of work. We're not done. We have to remodel every other home in the village actually and that's going to take some time. I also quick, quick update uh, someone mentioned in the comment section I think it was a silent Noah that this area here should be an underground market area continuing kind of like the farming vibe over here so that's going to be what it's going to turn into and we'll work on that in the next few episodes and uh yeah i'm really happy how this turned out so let's get into the main thing here let's start looking around on what i did so as you can see it really is a simple rustic look uh there isn't much uh crazy design but it really adds a nice contrast to it so in the comment sections like i said let me know what you think so what we're going to be doing is i want this main building to connect over to the farm here uh that's why i built this here and that's what we're gonna work on also i do want to change something here i left this empty because i wanted to add some type of sewer here um i thought it would be kind of neat to do that so i have some iron with me uh we're gonna go ahead and make some iron bars I only think it's just a few, 16, nice. Um, so that is something I wanted to try. So let me know what you think in the comment sections about this. I think it's a little bit unique. It's a little bit different. Um, so let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to make sure that everything around it is stone. Uh, we have plenty of stone here. I think we're going to make it into, uh, let's figure it out. I think cracked cobblestone will look kind of nice, my opinion. So let's go ahead and make that cracked cobblestone. We'll make the flooring, though. We'll make it, uh, let's do some cobblestone. How about that? I think that looks kind of nice. Now, I know in a sewer, technically, it's supposed to go way down. But because it's just an aesthetic thing, I think for now, we can leave it as so. And it should look simple like this. Actually, hmm. I don't know. What, let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, from a distance, it looks kind of interesting. It looks looks a little bit unique, uh, but that's just something I just had in the top of my mind. I don't know why, but let me know what you guys think about that, obviously. Uh, what we could do, actually, is, hey, maybe we can even add uh, some, some leaves around here. Uh, that way, maybe it'll add like a little bit of design. So who knows? It kind of it takes away from the path. So uh, yeah, maybe maybe not the best idea. But I'll leave it there for now for you guys to decide. And uh, we're gonna go and hop inside here because what I want to do is work on connecting a pathway here, kind of like an outside patio that brings a staircase down. So we're gonna need to go ahead and get lots of. I think we're gonna do spruce stairs. I think we're gonna do spruce stairs, which I just realized. We do need some spruce. Uh, we don't have a lot of it. Actually, we don't even have any of it. So we're going to chop down some spruce here. I think spruce would be the best bet. I mean, we could do oak since we have so much of it. But 
I don't know. I feel like it would look a lot better if we stick with a darker theme as kind of that, that's how the building looks. So yeah, we're definitely gonna, I think, stick with spruce for this. Now, the wood that I'm actually using that's stripped is dark oak, and we do have a dark oak biome very close by that I was not mining, but I guess hunting down a lot of wood and just kind of staying there for a while and just collecting resources. So that, that was actually kind of nice. Um, so, so far we have a decent amount. We're kind of getting low on supplies. I'm gonna have to get an organized uh, area for this place. Because, as you can tell, I'm not really organized when it comes to keeping my things in place. Uh, but, man, I do love this. Also, we're going to be doing a roof during the live stream. So, stay tuned for that on uh, YouTube Gaming. That's where we're going to be streaming this. So, if you are new to the channel, definitely go ahead and hit that notification button. So, you stay up to date when we are streaming. Uh, because you definitely don't want to miss out. We're going to do a lot of stuff on there. Uh, where's the crafting table? I think we have it over here. Okay, cool. So... I need to convert all of this into, uh, let's go ahead and grab this, into stairs. So definitely that's enough. I also realized you can make uh, spruce planks in, no, hold on. What was it? No, wait, I'm thinking my brain is like broken right now. Sorry, it'll come back to me. I don't know what I was just, oh, wait, actually, no, I kind of want to try this out. I believe you can make this into something like this. There we go. It's like an oak wood, um, which is really cool for like certain things that we're probably going to do in the next few episodes. Just an idea. Uh, but let's go ahead and connect this. Now, I think the first thing I want to do is just start adding stairs going down. I think that's just a, a basic generic idea just to get the design going. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead, add the stairs leveled out here. So I believe we only need, uh, do we have, we have spruce planks. I need to make, wait, no, that's, yes, yeah, spruce planks. But we need to actually make ourselves, uh, there we go spruce slabs why was i thinking spruce slabs or i don't even question i don't even know i don't even know anymore dude all right so let's go ahead and get on over here oh oh we fell off completely um how are we gonna do this let's see wow that's a big truck i don't know if you guys can hear that from here but it is extremely loud all right uh let's see how do we want to do this so i'm gonna do this so each side is gonna have Oh, no, not like that. Let's fix that real quick. It's going to be like this. So, see, this is where my issue is. I'm not really liking the slabs like that. It doesn't feel right. It feels a little bit weird. It feels strange. Um, so, instead, I'm probably just going to go and place some even with the side over here. So, let's go ahead and do that. I think that that's a, probably what I should have done in the beginning. I don't know why I was getting a little bit fancy there. Uh, there was no need for it. So, all right, let's continue to do that there. It's going to be like a little dock, kind of like walking down, a little patio. And on the side, we're going to have our uh, fences going alongside like this. There we go. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll even add them. Nope, don't want that. I don't want that. I don't think I really need that. So it's going to connect to the farm here, right? So we got to figure out how we're going to make it where it doesn't look strange uh, because we want to make it look kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and add, I think, another layer of stairs going down. Let's see if that will look good. So if we can get it to look... Oh, no, no, no. Not like that. If we can get it to look somewhat natural... Uh, let's figure this out. So I should be able to place it like that. Okay, cool. So, yeah. That, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and add the slabs real quick. So it's a little connection right here to the farm. Now, I think, personally, we're going to make this farm a lot bigger... Uh, so that way it actually kind of fits in well. All right, it's turning night, so let's go ahead. You know what that means. We're going to go ahead and get some sleep real quick. I never like working at night because of all the mobs that go and attack you. They have no soul. They just go and blow up anything you work on or try to sabotage any plans you have. <laughs> so that is, that is why I always do that. Let's go ahead and uh, eat some more bread. By the way, uh, if you don't know, I am going to be going to Mind Fair in New Jersey this weekend. So there's going to be a lot of uploads. You're going to be noticing a lot of uploads. And if you are watching from Mind Fair and you're seeing this, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And shout out to all of you who met me. This is kind of like... For those who are going to look back, that are new. It's, 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 it's like mind-blowing. This is like Inception stuff right here. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish off this work here. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we got to get the rest of the slabs here. And I think we're going to connect them like so. I don't know if I like that, though. Um, it doesn't look horrible. kind of keeps a little simple vibe going, which is not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off the attachment over here. And same on this side. 
Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, definitely we're going to expand this farm because it doesn't have to be the same size it is now. We can easily make it a lot, lot bigger, uh, which is, I think, the goal of this at the end of the day. So what we'll do is we'll remove this and simply add ourselves some dirt. And we'll just bring it all the way to the end over there. I think that's okay. Um... It should be fine. That should be good. We'll go ahead and do that. I have a little bit of dirt. We'll just con collect a little bit of dirt around here just to finish off that little section. Um, I don't know. We'll just collect some from the top here. Who cares, right? We're probably going to add some more buildings anyways alongside the farm area. By the way, this place does need a name. We got to name this village. It's a farming village, so we're going to have a lot of farmers trading going on. So that's something uh, you guys should let me know in the comment sections. And we're definitely going to make that happen in the next episode or so. Uh, so also, you know the well that we saw in the beginning? Uh, we're going to go back to that. We're actually going to be removing it and putting it in a different location. It's not really working out for us, that area. So it's in the middle of everything. And I feel like it's probably the best thing to do is remove it um, and put it somewhere else where it's going to be a little bit more convenient for all of us. So let's go ahead and make this look a little bit bigger. Just I, I feel like doing it now so that you guys get a better representation of what i'm trying to pull off here um all right we need some more dirt let's just get a little bit more here and boom oh no that's not what i wanted it's not what i wanted no that's also not what i alexon get your get your game together here dude okay perfect so it's it's pretty much self-explanatory we're just gonna go ahead and carry out the same simple design alongside um just kind of keep it looking nice we definitely need some more dirt where can we snag some from here could definitely snag over here some of it. There we go. That's not too bad. And we got to do something with this pond, too. We're definitely going to have to design this area here, too. We have turtles. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We're probably going to have to make, like, an animal farm. That will be something we're definitely going to do. So, yeah. that Consider that done. We're going to do that for sure. So, let's go ahead and finish making ourselves a very default extra size farm. Um, and we're going to need... We're also going to need probably a lot of water, too. So we're going to get our buckets going as soon as possible after this, probably. And try to get this farm up and going. It needs to be complete, at least. Oh, this looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This actually is kind of nice. So what we'll do is we'll just grab some dirt from the middle here because no one's going to go under here anytime soon. So we'll just go ahead and get ourselves some of the dirt because no one's going to look under here at all. It's like a little secret. Only you guys will know. <laughs> Only you guys will know this secret. All right, so... That should be more than enough. Let's just go under here and we'll close it off like this. So, yeah, that's something we're just going to close off like that. No one's going to see it. No one will need to know. Uh, the only thing I do want to do is to fill up the bottom here so that when we place the water, it stays in its area. Uh, and we'll close off here like so. And we'll eventually terraform it in a live stream so it looks more natural. But this looks really, really cool so far. Um... I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So let's go quickly make ourselves an iron bucket, get some water, and kind of finish that little section off there. Let's go ahead and do that. We have our iron, and we do have our well, which sadly is going to be moved. It is a really nice uh, well because it's so it's so near and dear to our hearts, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and put ourselves the water here. Um, now, I believe this should be an in Yeah, there we go. That is an infant source. That's, that's handy to have. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill it up all the way like that. Break up the middle. And uh, there we go. We got ourselves a completed little farm here. We still have to make ourselves, you know, crop everything. But I'm sure the villagers would take care of that, right? I'm sure they, they have. They, they know what they got to do. <laughs> We're not going to bother them. All right, let's close this little area here. And, yeah, so this is this is nice. So pretty much as you walk here... What I want to do maybe instead is probably take out the middle crops. Now, the reason I say this is because we'll probably just put ourselves some uh, slabs here so we can walk over it. I think we'll do that. I think I like that idea. So we'll put ourselves some slabs here. Or not some slabs, just some planks. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to do that because you can actually walk around a little bit and it kind of gives it some meaning, the fact that we can go here. Boom, both sides, we have crops, and I think it looks kind of nice. Now, I don't know, do we do we do something different with the design here? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's plan this out real quick. I want to see with the crafting table something real quick. Because, as you saw, I was messing around earlier, and unless it's in here, I'm not sure. 
But I was messing around earlier and we can make some of this, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and craft ourselves some of these and we'll incorporate that into that little area just to kind of give it some more look, kind of make it look interesting. So let's see how that takes shape because this is all around like a big oak block. And uh, let me know what you think about this. Honestly, we might take those down. I'm not entirely sure. But some of this here can be replaced by that. I think, you know, a little bit of a, a random design doesn't look too bad. I think that looks kind of cool. Do one over here. Add a bit of a random look to it. All right. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm not... I'm not... I think, I think that's good. And what we can do is we could maybe add a slab on the top, right? So we'll do... Put the water there. Make sure it's fully infinite. There we go. And we can even add a... A slab on top, right? Make a little bit. Oh, how about this actually? Why don't we add a staircase, a small little staircase going over the top of it? I think that would look kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know what you think. That I think that's kind of cool. It's a little bit unique, right? I think that's nice. Adds a little bit of design to it. Now, I don't know if we really needed to make it too, but like I want symmetry. So, you know, we're going to have to deal with it for now. And uh, what we can do is we will use our oak here and instead of placing it i think we could place it from the top oh no not that's the wrong one that's the wrong one that's not what we need we need from the top and then this one could go from the side like that add a little design there i think that looks cool we'll do the same thing on this side and we should be good to go not bad not bad all right cool so let me know what you think about that we still have to put the crops on this side and that i think looks really nice let's go ahead and eat some bread real quick but yeah this looks good so far i'm pretty happy with this now one thing we're gonna have to finish off is putting glass uh windows here the interior definitely needs an overhaul so we'll do that in the next episode and speaking of which let's get rid of this final thing before we end off today's episode is we need to go ahead and place our well somewhere else somewhere that's going to be more effective and not in the middle of our way and where would that be i have not decided actually uh let's see where we could put this is honestly i don't even know i think we can even put it right here i think right there would be a, a good place to put it so let's go ahead and do that the well is going to be right over here it's flat land it's quite even with the whole area so this is where we're going to put our infinite water source so we're going to go ahead and grab the water from the well and we're going to go ahead and move it there we go so we just have one bucket of water and the rest we'll just grab from the farm so we make it look kind of have a have a good like nostalgic feeling so we know that we used some of the water from the well and then we'll just use some of it from here oh wait there we go some of it from here so this should be the infinite water source that we needed done that is going to be the new well location I think it'd be just perfect. It's not in the way, and we can get rid of this mess here and kind of get this path connected. Now, ooh, this is an issue. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll just block it off like that. And, uh, yeah, that, that'll be it. So if we ever need a backup water source, we know where it is. It's right under here. It's a closed-off well, pretty much. We still have water down there, but now that we know if we ever need water, we have our secret water source here. If a zombie apocalypse attacks us, we have our little water uh, section over there. So let's go ahead and remove this area too. Put some grass, make it look good, and I believe we're gonna remove. Yeah, we're gonna remove the, the the oak as well. There's spruce. We don't really need that there anymore. That was only to cover up the water, and we do have plenty of dirt. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait for this to eventually turn to grass and get this path looking nice. So yeah, our water source will forever be here. <laughs> it will never be gone. And but in the meantime, it's just going to be covered up like that. So I think that's good. So let's go ahead and remove the rest of this well here. Rest in peace in chat, guys. Let's, let's, if you watch up to this point in the chat, say hashtag rest in peace well. Uh, so that was it. Rip to the well. It's lived its life. It's going to be moving. So yeah, there we go. That's that. Get rid of this floating stuff here. All right. And that is it. If you enjoyed, actually, let's see. We might do one more thing before we end off the episode. We're at the 20th minute mark, which is usually where I end everything off. Um, and honestly, we might end it off here. It is turning night, and we have our villagers freaking out. Everyone, get inside. <laughs> but this is looking a lot better. Now, this is the next building that's going to be changed. We need an idea. I think we're going to make it a lot bigger, and I think we're going to make it an open market. Uh, where we're gonna have the food from here or like any any farming stuff will be put in here as like a small storage section Similar to this design. I personally think this looks awesome I really really like the way this turned out. So let me know in the comment sections what you think I really like the way this turned out from this area and yeah, actually one more thing I wanted to do 
because as you can tell, I do have a little OCD. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close off this so it looks connected, right? We want to have it look having some type of support. And I think that looks good. I think we have it from this side too. And when you get back, we'll, you'll see this area will be completed. But I'm pretty happy. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. Under here, we do have an underground area now this area here we should light up so no one spawns over here but this area here is going to be used for either supplying stuff or having like a little i don't know give me that give me some suggestions in the comment sections because it looks really interesting you know you got this little space and actually exit over here and to the farm so maybe we can have like farming supplies in there right so we can just come up here and finish off any of the farming that's needed uh that that could be it that could be a move so let's put some torches here so we don't get any mobs spawning, which I'm pretty sure they are uh, because they usually do that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Wow, there's a lot of zombies there. Uh, let's go quickly help our villagers because we need them before we end off today's episode. Back off, villagers. We don't want you in this town. You're not needed. Come attack me instead. Oh my god, there's so many creepers. Wait, we might have to actually, like, everyone, run, run. I'm done helping you. We gotta run. There's like an over amount of freaking mobs. Oh my gosh. We're taking the bed. We're running. All right. We're going to run over here in this direction. Going to get some rest. Make sure it turns day because as you can see, they're out to get us, guys. Oh my gosh. It's like a zombie apocalypse. I predicted it already. It's happening. There we go. All right. Well, that kind of took care of the slight little mess we're in here. Um... All right, let's just quickly take them out. Get that XP real quick. We're going to have to get a mob spawner too, eventually. I think we did find a cave one and a mine shaft during a stream. So we can actually convert that into an episode as well. But there we go. That's the end of today's episode. Don't forget, hit that like button, notification bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for A. Hey, see? See? Our villagers are, are doing their work. Good job, guys. <laughs> one of them just fell. Oh, my God. There, that's an issue where there's a lot of creepers. See you guys until the next episode. My name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.